What is going on YouTube? Levi Adams here with another Fan Fridays, Fandom Fridays. I forgot exactly what I called it. I think it was fan Fandom. Uh, today, I'm supposed to be talking about a show or something of the like. Um, I am going to be talking about uh, a person. Um, now, this person, uh, his name is PokeMMD. He is really what got me started in the YouTube community, uh, making videos and stuff, because I wanted to do Pokemon Showdown. Um, he's definitely where I get like a fair amount of my showdown-y mannerisms, you know? Um, so uh, he's like where I learned a majority of my competitive battling skills, like predictions and all that other stuff. Um, like I kind of knew about EVs from my friends, but other than that, um, yeah, for the most part, it was him teaching me a lot of stuff. Um, now, I would tell you, like, this is a little bit different from talking about series like the original Fan Fridays, um, uh, which, by the way, sorry I haven't been around, I mean, most of my subscribers are my friends, so I don't think they expect me to put out constant content, but, uh, if you do, well, thanks for being around, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, the point is... Um, this is a little different because as opposed to talking about the character development in the show and uh, talking about, you know, like the art styles and, and things like that, it's just kind of like, I don't know, I'm talking about a person and what I like about this person. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this is because I created some fan art for Joey and I was like, oh, well, might as well uh, videotape it and do a Fan Friday on it because I figured most people who are subscribed to me are also Pokemon fans. Um, actually, I know they are because, like I said, it's mostly my friends. Um, so, and, you know, if you aren't subscribed to PokeMMD, I don't know what you're doing because, in my personal opinion, I'd have to say he's one of the best Pokemon YouTubers like in the in the business, honestly. Um, but that's just me. Uh, the reason I enjoy watching him, I think, is because, I don't know, uh, I got into him late Oras, uh, in about, uh, like, in 2016, I think, 2015 or 2016, somewhere in there. Um, I think it was the fall of 2015, because I was watching Shady Penguin, and then Shady Penguin mentioned PokeMMD in one of his, uh, in one of his UCL videos, which is like a YouTuber league thing that they do. Um, and I was like, huh, maybe I should check out PokemonD's channel. And his content was great. I loved, I loved the, first of all, I just like the sound of his voice. I think he has a soothing voice, you know, no homo, but I don't really care about homo, I guess. Um, regardless. Uh, so, um, but yeah, uh, I really like the sound of his voice. I really like what he has to say about the game. I think his thoughts are very, very interesting. I think the way he plays is like, he plays incredibly smart. And sometimes he gets salty about hacks. I mean, like he, you know, everybody gets salty about hacks. But um, I think he's just like an incredibly level-headed player. And it's really fun to watch. And it's fun to like, see how he plays the game. And I think... If you if you want to watch somebody who is not too over the top, but he's not too boring, I think Pokemon's your guy. Uh, he has really cool series. He puts out daily videos, which is really really cool. He has um, like his road to top tens and the Smogon, and actually inspired me to do a road to ladder um, on my channel, which you can check out. I might put a link in the description below, but probably not. Um, and it was just like, it's just a really cool concept. Just like trying out different teams on the ladder, building your own teams. Uh, usually, almost always credits uh, somebody for passing him a team. But I think that's definitely one thing I love about Pokemon is that he is a really, really nice guy, too. Uh, I've been subbed to him uh, technically... For like a year on Twitch, um, but I switched Twitch accounts um, to match my Pokemon Showdown username, so I'm I don't have the same uh, the same Twitch name or like I have I haven't been subbed on the same account for 
for that long. So uh, it's I'm just hit like three months, I think, on my current Twitch account. Um, but I was subbed to him for nine months before that. And um, so basically, uh, when I subbed to him, I subbed and then I was like, hey, can I have a battle? And we battled and I got wrecked, but it was super awesome. Um, we've had like a lot of battles since then. And, you know, he, it's not like I'm special by any means just because I battled him. Um, I posted some of the battles on my channels, like some of the ones that were really, really good. Like our PU, we had a PU battle. Um, and I thought that battle was really amazing. It came down to, he had two Pokemon and I had a Frogadier. And, um, you know, it was just a good battle. And I was going to make a comic out of that. Um, but I decided I wanted to take more artistic liberties with the comic. So, uh, make it more of an anime style comic instead of like a Pokemon showdown style comic. Um, cause I thought doing a showdown style comic would be fun, but it's just like a lot of switching. Um, <laughs> but, um, anyway, uh, point I'm getting at is he's a super nice guy. Um, he was really welcoming when I subbed to him and even before I subbed to him. Um, and one of the, like the proudest moments of my artist career so far, um, was the moment that he actually used a piece of fan art I made because I was making that comic. Um, and I sent him a picture of like, of something I drew of him because I asked him what his favorite Pokemon were and I sent him the picture I drew of him and he, was, and he used it and he shouted me out and normally he just has the picture in the background but he actually like pulled up the full picture that I sent him which I thought was super cool and I thought it was amazing of him to do um, and he like he gave me a shout out and there were some people in the comment section who like oh well you're just <laughs> you're weird um or like they thought my art style was weird but i mean i don't really care about those people uh but the fact that he like shouted me out and it just made me feel awesome about it like he'll always talk to me in streams whenever i say hey and um we almost always get a battle unless there were like a bunch of people ahead of me and in which case it's just like it's nice to hang out and chill with him he, like, he produces a lot of content other than Pokemon. Well, not, like, a lot of content other than Pokemon. I think his Let's Plays are really fun to watch. Um, his Nuzlocks, I got into... I think another reason I started watching him is because I was watching his Emerald Nuzlocke, where, like, his Pokemon were randomized, um, and the moves that they learned were randomized, and it was so, like, Key the Blastoise, man. Never forget. Never forget Key the Blastoise. Um... But yeah, and then like I went back and watched his Emerald Nuzlocke, or not his Emerald Nuzlocke, his Gold Nuzlocke, um, and he's just like he's really funny. He has really funny commentary. He's awful at puzzles. Uh, excuse me, pulling up my email that like just happens sometimes. I'm actually going to be testing out a new thing while I'm drawing. Um, oh, quick other thing, I'm not doing Showdown Saturdays. Uh, I mean, I might, but I want to dedicate a lot more time to drawing, and I think it's like it's a little hard for me to dedicate a lot of time to Showdown uh, Showdown Saturdays. I might bring them back because I'm getting ready to go to, to the National Pokemon Tournament, but you know that's whatever. That's a different thing. Um, so anyway, uh, I honestly just think he's a really great guy. He's really really cool. His his tastes are very interesting. He's like shown me a lot of cool music through Glitch X City because I didn't I'm not subbed to Glitch X City. I probably should be because I love the stuff that she produces, but um I don't know. And he just like he never fails to really cheer me up when I'm having a bad day, you know? I'll watch some of his contact and I fell out of the competitive Pokemon scene for a little while. Um uh just because I thought it was getting a little bit stale. But um you know, it's uh, honestly, I think like watching him is still kind of fun. It's always nice to just turn him on in the background and have something nice to listen to. Um, and I just love hearing what he has to say, I guess. Um, like he's he does things on bands and and like whenever a new Pokemon is released in the game, he like he does a little moveset guide for it, which I think is really, really cool. Um, because originally the only place you could go to see that was Verlisify, and I hate Verlisify with a passion. Um, mainly because of, like, everything with Sun and Moon. The entire Pokemon community got really weird. And that's another thing, is that Pokegame wasn't someone 
like he would when there were updates he would report on them but he didn't report on every single little thing that maybe popped up like fake starter leaks and i don't know he's just a really cool guy to follow um and he's like he's buddies with other tubers like shofu and uh and pk and blunder like just watching some of like his buddy lives are also just the best i don't know it's really hard to say like to try and convince somebody to watch Poké MD. um but i i just i just really like this guy um he's really cool he's, i'm really glad that i'm subbed to him on twitch um, I'm really glad that I'm subbed to him on YouTube. I, he's just honestly he's just like a YouTuber that has had like an actual sort of impact on my life. So he recently started. Uh, he was recently celebrating seven years on YouTube. Um, so I wanted to draw him and his. I think it's like ten favorite Pokemon. No, it's not ten. It's like seven or eight, maybe. I think it's eight. Him and his A favorite Pokemon sleeping, because uh, his catchphrase is I'm tired. Um, that and Drop a Draco, which I do have one of the OG Drop a Draco hoodies, by the way. Um, which I think is just super dope. Uh, but yeah, um, let me know of what you think of PokeMMD. I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below, so you can feel free to check it out. Um, just... Uh, Leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. Please check out his stuff. I think he really deserves it. Um, check out his Twitch streams, and if you really like Pokemon Twitch streamers, he's been streaming like a lot recently. Um, and maybe even sub to him on Twitch. He's trying to reach a thousand by the end of the year. Uh, like I said, he's just a really cool guy, really fun, really funny. Um, he's just a just a really good dude. So. Uh, that being said, if you did like this video, please do all of those things that YouTubers ask you to do. My name is Levi Adams. Enjoy the rest of the live, er, not the live, the, the speed paint per se, and I will see you guys next time.
needs a job and go to to make the most of his rhythmic tendencies. <laughs> Jive and go to make the most of his rhythmic tendencies. <laughs> 